TJ. to bring out a very exciting and uh, famous guest. But before we do that, I want to take the time and reflect on the things and the sessions we have attended today and learned from today and uh, talk a bit about this conference. Um, so Shift Happens is a very deliberate selection of the name for AppPoint's first user conference, right? So welcome to our first user conference. Thank you. Why do we call it Shift Happens? Well, as IT and business leaders of our organizations, we never want to be caught flat-footed in this very, very fast-changing landscape. Things are just moving so fast, right? So the modern workplace is also moving faster than ever before. And if we get caught exclusively on the day-to-day -day of our job, of our duty, like what Tony was mentioning earlier, you don't want to just be you know, focused on day-to-day then we're not getting that competitive edge. We're not reacting, right? We're not proactively anticipating. So today's session talk about digital transformation from the trenches. So I want to spend a bit of time here to discuss how Outpoint help you in that digital transformation and in five specific ways. So first, in today's world, we still have huge amount of heterogeneous environments, whether it's file shares, existing on-prem SharePoint, or existing ECM systems like Documentum, uh, Trim, OpenText. So there's still quite a bit of migration uh, that happens. And one of the barrier to the cloud is migration. So in a recent AIM survey, majority of the correspondent talk about the barrier, the concern of go to cloud is still security. So how many of you are still concerned about security going to cloud? Raise a hand. All right, a lot less of you, right? At the same time, we know the benefits of going to cloud. We know everyone wants to go to Office 365, so essentially Office SaaS. So that's important. So how do we balance this tension? So at that point, we actually focus on helping our customers start that journey, going to cloud, and that's part of our story. Um, I don't know of those of you that know, AppPoint will put us on the board, on the roadmap, when we were just a two-man company out of New Jersey, was we were the first one to come out from a 2001 to 2003 migration solution, from a flat file format to a SQL format. So that actually migration is what put AppPoint on the map for the market. But today, we can do cloud-to-cloud -cloud migration at a speed of 100 terabyte per 24 hours. Now, if you have other sources, whether it's Slack and Box and Dropbox, et cetera, we can help you with that as well. Of course, if you have more complex legacy application sources, we do that as well. So we offer one of the most comprehensive and compliant migration platform out there. And in addition, if your migration is still very complex, we offer migration as a service. So together with our software, we're one of the world's only software-owned migration as a service provider. So again, if you have complex migration issues, please come talk to us. And this is just stats for one year worth of work, you know, 17 petabyte of data migrated to the cloud for some of our biggest enterprise customers. Second thing we can help enterprises go into cloud is we talk about enhancing your business continuity. Sure, Microsoft already does a great job in providing backup for your cloud. If you get hit by ransomware, you can do point in time recovery. However, if you want to do much more granular recovery, or if you have essentially internal actors that before they leave the company and restore content from 60 days ago, natively you are really have no solution. You will lose data for the last 60 days. So these are the type of things that we help address. So our cloud backup solution, which is 100% SaaS multi-tenant solution sitting in Azure, offers our customers unlimited backup up to four times a day, highly scalable because Azure's scalability. So we have actually customers that does about two petabyte 
of backup on a daily basis. So that's unlimited automated backup. We also do delegated and granular restores down to the document metadata level. And also we give you a visibility dashboard to see what's covered, what's not covered. So that enables IT to manage and complement their existing backup strategy much better. And this is why Gartner and Forrester and customers are talking about using third-party solution vendor like AppPoint to help them con complete that business continuity story. Now, what about your end users? How do we actually change the story to make it even more efficient, not just about the data itself? So, Ducks, why don't you show us and introduce the audience about Ava? Sure. Um, you know, a lot of us, especially in IT, love when our business or end users come to us and say, hey, you know, I deleted my email or my file a month ago and I want it back. You like helping them, right? But what if they can help themselves? So let's say in, uh, in my line of work, I travel a lot and I'm at the airport and I realize that I need some file back from, I don't know, six weeks ago that I deleted. I can't file a ticket request because I need it right now. So what we did is working with Microsoft's AI technology, bots, and Azure, we have a bot and her name is Ava. And it works hand in hand with Microsoft Teams. So I can easily talk to Ava, just like how I can chat with any of my colleagues at work. And I can pull up Ava. And by the way, Ava is free, completely free. You can download it in your Teams. And I can ask Ava to help restore my file. Restore a file. Restore a file. And when Ava picks that up, I'm trying to be fancy here, but let's do this. Nope, not emoji. You should speak French. Restore a file. I'll just type it. <laughs> oh, there you go. She, yeah. Oh, uh, 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 uh. I that's blame because uh, is still using an iPhone. <laughs> that, that's a problem, right? That's a problem. All right, so, so I tell Ava to restore a file. What she's going to do, obviously, she's going to check who I am, look at my credentials, look at what's going on, and then she's going to give me a, a, a little guidance here. It's like, if you remember any information from that file, um, feel free to fill it in. You know, all I remember is I had Contoso on that file name, and... So now I can hit submit. And then as soon as I do that, there you go. I'm looking for it, and voila, there you go. It found it, Contoso at Marketing. I can just hit Restore. It's going to go back to my OneDrive. And after five minutes figuring it out at the airport, I can get my work done without working with IT. So that's the power of the cloud. And us as AppPoint, working with Microsoft, be able to deliver that efficiency, and talk about empowering our business users. So thank you, CJ. Thank you, Ducks. So Ava is a chat bot that's available today. Like Ducks mentioned, it's free. So you can actually use it to restore recycled bin content. Um, and we're in the process of rolling out multi-language support. It leverages Azure Cognitive Services. So all major spoken language will be supported as well. So the third way we can help you is help your orga uh, organizations um, to, to organize and govern things like Microsoft Teams. So when we talk with our customers about Microsoft Teams, by and large, there are two approaches, provided that they do turn on Teams, right? One is just let it you know, go free, go viral, and we have to eventually deal with a messy information data sprawl issue. And the other is making sure that business users call IT to provision every single Teams. And that could be very, very burdensome. So the data we actually collected uh, via AIM tell us that 63% of IT staff today spends roughly four to more than eight hours per week on handling governance requests for Teams, for SharePoint Online, for groups. That's almost one workday per week. And that's a lot of you know, redundant, repetitive, low quality tasks. So we actually have a pharmaceutical, large pharmaceutical customer with us uh, that has 60 
5,000 users and 20 terabyte of data on their on-prem SharePoint environment. And because their key metric is to attract new generation millennium talent, modern workplace is a very important transition for them. They spent 18 months going to the cloud, but then they realized they couldn't turn on Teams because it would violate their container-based security policies. So for this company to protect their critical IP, all containers must be tagged, classified, and monitored for both the internal and external sharing. So rather than giving up, they actually work with AppPoint so that every time a team, a SharePoint site, or groups is provisioned, the policy actually automatically provision and classify using the company's own low impact, medium impact, and high impact definitions. So low impact container essentially contains information that can be readily shared on publicly on cloud. Medium impact means that information that may contain information, uh, sensitive information, so the permission need to be actively managed. And high impact means that it has to be limited access and regularly certified. So the class, classification and governance of policies are inclusive of all resources that spawn up with a team. That includes OneNote, SharePoint, as well as Outlook. So essentially, our governance solution makes it easy for every employee in the company to do the right thing. So we help automate and enforce policies across provisioning, operation management, as well as information lifecycle management. So Ducks, why don't you come up and show us how this works? All right, so one of the phenomenal things with, um, with Microsoft Teams is the ability to do self-service. As TJ mentioned, one of the concerns of the organization is sprawl. But what if we can have what I call empowered governance? So in this example, we have my colleague uh, Adele, who's taking advantage of Teams, and Adele is essentially creating a team for herself. Now, we have AppPoint Cloud Governance in this environment where all the relevant policies are being enforced, from things like naming policy, for example. So when Adele creates a team, notice that automatically the naming policy is enforced where the prefix group marketing is added because Adele is with the marketing organization. And as Adele continues on, because she wants to get this going, create her team, uh, puts a description, adds users, Behind the scenes, again, cloud governance knows what policy to enforce as well. And maybe part of this policy, since Adele is using this with external users, her boss needs to approve it. So the policy says, you know, look, as soon as Adele creates this, she can use this within seven days. And uh, in that time period, her boss would be alerted. And as long as the boss approves it, her team would live on past that seven days. And Adele will be notified via email saying, hey, look, you can only use this for seven days, but once your boss approves it, then you should be fine. You should be good to go. If not, then sorry, we have to get rid of it. Or you have to get uh, secondary approval or whatnot. So it makes it easy for people to do the right thing. You have the good balance between IT enforcing policies, but empowering your business to maximize phenomenal technologies like Microsoft Teams. All right? Thank you. Team. All right. What do you guys think? Helpful so far? All right, we're here today. We have a lot of government leaders here with us. So again, Microsoft's leading the pack when it comes to record management. Labels are an amazing feature that help record managers keep pace with exponential increase in data. Now, for some public sector clients, they need to go and want more. So we have a customer, New, uh, Airway New Zealand. They actually closely examine the metadata required by regulation and determine that Business activity, access, and record class data were gaps they need to fill on Office 365. So they made those fields default so that working with AppPoint Cloud Records, they can then apply archiving as well as disposal routines to move content in a very automated, efficient, and disciplined process. And records can also, our Cloud Record product can also help you with hybrid environments, whether it's file shares, on-prem environments, as well as Office 365. Now, let's not forget about disposition to NARA. So here we're in Washington, D.C. after all. So our research shows that only 33% of the federal agencies today are actually disposing, submitting their eligible records to NARA in 2019. 
And when we ask why, our customers say they're just being overwhelmed, which makes sense, right, given the pace of data creation. So I would like to suggest that in this case of doing more with less, it's automation. In fact, we're actually working with one of the largest federal agencies here in DC on how to automate their information ma cycle management with uh, records on file shares as well as SharePoint and then have a hybrid path to Office 65. So finally, we talk about end-to-end -end information management. We talk about data leaks still happen. It's still a concern. And it's not just for government clients, but also for commercial customers as well. And Microsoft AIP, Azure Information Protection, gives you a lot. Now, if you want to ensure sensitive information is redacted in real time from places that it should not belong, whether it's in Office 365 or in Box, Dropbox, Slack, Google Drive, et cetera, we actually have a solution that helps you with that called Compliance Guardian. So, in fact, I think Ducks is going to show you another quick demo on how this works for Yammer. So, one of the uh, cool things that working with customers around the world, and for those of you who, who follow me on social, you see me you know, in different parts of the world, is everybody loves Yammer. And one of the concerns, especially with highly regulated agencies, be it government, financial services, or healthcare organization, is the challenge, at least for today, there's no real-time way to redact information with Yammer. What if somebody posts patient information on Yammer and hits post, or a credit card number goes out there? So with our technology, AppPoint Compliance Guardian, on top of being able to work hand-in-hand -hand with Microsoft-based technology and working on-prem, we can also work with technologies like Yammer. So for example, let's say I'm going to post personal information on Yammer. So I'm going to hit post. There's names. There's social security number. And when I hit refresh, and this happens in real time, that post is actually blocked. So you won't even see it. And in addition, as we all know, Yammer works hand in hand with Teams. I do the same thing. I bring up the Yammer tab in Teams, post the same information. It seems like it gets posted, but when I hit refresh, it didn't post. So Compliance Guardian saw it, blocked it, redacted it. And on the back end, if we look at um, Compliance Guardian, so here I'm refreshing, just showing you that it didn't get posted. So if we look at Compliance Guardian, you see the richness of capabilities where we can define all the data sources, be it Yammer, FileShare, on-prem SharePoint, Box, Dropbox, Slack. You have one single pane of glass to say, we're not going to allow social security numbers across these different data sources. And it so happened, somebody tried to post it on Yammer, and it redacted, redacted it automatically. I mean, we talk about making it easy for users to do the right thing, and this is one other way we're helping organizations to meet that need. So hopefully that gives you a good sense of how we're helping with end-to-end -end protection. So with that, uh, TJ, back to you. Thank you, Dux. Yeah. So <laughs> actually to share with you, to give you an idea how powerful this is, um, there's another great story with one of our large defense contractor customers. This company has been around for 70 years with 15,000 employees across 100 locations around the world. And to modernize, they, they decide to adopt four um, SharePoint environment to do commercial sharing as well as working with federal government clients. So for commercial, they actually put staging and production SharePoint in the cloud, so SharePoint Online. And for public sector, they actually put their environment into ITAR compliant, which is basically international traffic in arms and regulation compliant environment in government data centers. However, they also have Five, over five terabyte of legacy data that they don't even know what it is. They call it dark data. So they have to scan and classify to make sure that when users start to put those data, migrate them into these new environments, they're put in the right place, right? So now with Compliance Guardian, they actually have an active um, engine that continuously track, tag, and monitor to make sure that when someone uploads something into an area, it's allowed to be there. If it's not, it's redacted in real time. It could be quarantined as well, and then being alerted. So this is actually a powerful solution. Uh, even uh, Center for Medicare and Medical S Services are now actually using this um, type of tool to help to ensure that HIPAA compliant information are not posted in the wrong areas. Okay. Um, 
So with that, I conclude my time here to underscore the way we help, but I also want to uh, continue to emphasize how we continue to invest in our cloud footprint. So with Apple Online Services, which is broadly our SaaS multi-tenant offering, we already have 11 instances around the world. We also run uh, our instance in FedRAMP certified data centers here in Arlington. And this solution um, is actually ISO uh, 27001 certified, which is a, a technology security and process certification. So just because customers go on to Office 365 and go on to Azure, and they're also certified at a certain level, any third-party SaaS provider also have to go through the same rigorous security certification. And we have done that, right? I'm also proud to uh, announce today that as of essentially early July, 1st of July, we will have multi-geo support. So that means if you are a multinational corporation, your German office data would never leave Germany. Your US office data would never leave USA. And that's very, very important in the era of data sovereignty, in the era of data privacy. So now that's what we talk about today, and hopefully you got a lot of details from the various sessions. So please come to chat with me or any of the AppPoint folks at this conference to let us know how we can help you uh, add more value to your organization. So with that, so let shift happen. Thank you.